today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Number four symptom of unbelief, being pessimistic and sarcastic. A lot of people think sarcasm is humor. It's the lowest form of humor because sarcasm always brings somebody else down. Being a pessimist, you're seeing the worst. And that is a sign of unbelief when you look at it. And I know we're in a very negative fallen world and things are really bad out there. But we're not to look at that. We're to look at what Jesus has done. Being sarcastic, according to the dictionary, is to convey contempt. And one area where there was pessimistic sarcasm was in Numbers chapter 13, verse 33. The Jews were told to go in, spy out the land, and they got all this great fruit and everything else. But here is where pessimism comes in. In verse 33, and they said, And there we saw giants, the son of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself according to the word? Or do you see yourself not good enough, or I can't do this, or I failed here? You see, they compared themselves with something else. They didn't believe God's word. There is a sign of unbelief when you're pessimistic or sarcastic. How sarcastic can you get when you're God's chosen people told to go in and possess the land and you say, I'm just nothing but a grasshopper. They put themselves down so low that they could be stepped on. But let me tell you who you are. By faith, this is what God says about you. Romans 8, 37. No, in all these things, and he talked about who can separate us from the love of God, who can condemn us. He says, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him, through Jesus that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God loves you, and whatever he has for you, he is well able to perform it. See yourself as God sees you, above and not beneath, seated with him in heavenly places. Don't see the worst, see the best in Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining us today.